We're never starting the game. Does that mean um, restarting the game? <laughs> or does that mean you actually have to get out of and back into the game again? Okay, I need to actually look this up now. Okay, so I guess I just want to go to begin the game again. <clears throat> so I guess the, f the thing that tells you, oh, hey, that, that nothing changes about the game, that's bull. There's one thing that does. I guess that was, that, that was said prior to... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Return to the Stanley Parable 2 Expo Hall. <laughs> This will be three videos, it'll be three 40 minute videos. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever, the Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. I just thought of something. <clears throat> Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. I want to do that too, but first. <clears throat> <laughs> so 
Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. As you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. Eleven out of eleven? What's the other one? I thought there was only ten. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Why does it have to Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Oh come on! That's crap. <laughs> <laughs> Out of order, you've already been here. <laughs> nice. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first edition... Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play it. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine... Jim! Whoa, 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 hold on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. <laughs> if you don't properly role play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. No, this is... <clears throat> this is a po totally support... The, the fact you can do that is totally supposed to be somewhat of a spiritual successor to what the... A button in the Stanley Parable demo. Now, allow yourself to become <laughs> Jim. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim, playing frisbee on the weekends as Jim, <laughs> staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim, developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim. Jim. All right, fine, whatever. It's just a meaningless button that says Jim. Are you happy now? Get out of here. I'm done with this button. Why don't you go humiliate me in front of a different feature that I work very hard on? <laughs> oh!
Oh, I'm so glad that you come back here. That is too good. <laughs> Why don't you go to another exhibit and humiliate me? Uh. <clears throat> Maybe I'll only let people named Jim play the Stanley Parable too. They would appreciate what I've created here. <laughs> I want to see if you can get Diamond Dialogue for doing the frickin' infinite hole with the bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? Okay, I don't think this was here before. Happy told birthday step niece, get well someday. Come on, man. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday <laughs> step niece it is. Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future or it's all right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? I want the infant hole. <laughs> mm. 
Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. I got it all day. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. Did you really need to see it again? I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite hole. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead and press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about... Oh, goodness. Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you, I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know, I told you the hole was infinite, but come on! Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep, it was more than deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem! <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole. Oh, for heaven! You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there, goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. <laughs> Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to begin the game again because I want to hit the other button for the freaking decoration thing and I'm probably going to end that off here. What the? Okay then! How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time from now on. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable Actually, is a memory. Actually, I need to see if you can do the chest to chest to see the lever again and get the dialogue so for not getting the achievements that they already have with this. I say <clears> we <throat> take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2.
Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much... Here we are. Go on, try out some of the new features. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Get Well Someday it is. <laughs> or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. As you can see, the machine is not working yet since... What? Wait. What in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Why did the machine work? Stanley, I didn't fix it. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Alright. Uh, so let's go quit the menu first. <laughs> And I guess with that, every single time you start the game up, you'll always get the freaking thing again. Okay, it's different things. <laughs> Part five. <clears throat> Look at the square paperwork. Ding, do, 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 do. A bomb is an option. Okay then. <laughs> okay. I will go up to six. I would continue going, but like I've got to stop the recording. Because I'm running low on space on my hard drive. <laughs> But I saw my extra videos to record yet, so...
I don't know if I'll have extra video while I title them, but there will be extra videos before these fin finale recording session videos, so um, I will do more resetting of this uh, for that. One or two sessions, whatever. Printer jam. Saturday night printer jam. <laughs> <laughs> the heck this epic music is. I love that though. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Stanley Portal 5, Saturday Night Printer Jam. <laughs> I like to keep listening to it. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to the epic music. One more, and then I'm gonna do the credits, and that'll be it. It's either me or the mind control machine. Let's see a pop lunch bay. Like seriously, what is this funky music? But yeah, <clears throat> huge shout out to Slim Kirby, the one for his Let's Play that you did in 2013 that I watched in 2020. At the time I was sick, I would not have got this game. It was very well, well, much worth playing again, all the new content, all the hilarity, and the stuff that was in the original game that I didn't know about because Slim Kirby didn't, or didn't show it off in his Let's Play. It was such a good time worth doing. I'm so glad I did this for my 5,000 subscriber special. It was so worth it. 
and out of all the sound effects I got so far, this was my favorite one for the starting the game up, so I think it's a good one to end it on. With these credits. <laughs> oh, you guys should see it. Oh, it's, it is launch. I assumed it was launch. It actually is launch bay, like the freaking thing you see in the um, leave the narrator and the boss's office ending. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'll be doing airship videos that you guys will see before this one, but. Unless I end up proving myself wrong in the future, this will be my final set of videos, or rather, whatever ends up being this will this video will be my final video. I'll probably hold up on all these videos for the finale recording session until my extra videos. <clears throat> but it'll be everything prior to the um prior to the Stanley Parable 2 Expo plus also the uh um, first time getting the figurine. I will show all that off. Like, all that ultra deluxe one-time exclusive content. Like, I'll do all that one more time for my extra videos, and then I will do restarting this a bunch of times. That will be my extra videos, whatever I end up talking about. Well, I probably won't even call them extra videos. I'll probably just be continued episode numbers that I will do before these this finale session. So, I, I'm not even going to have titles for these. All like X1, X2, or whatever as placeholder titles for whatever the actual numbers will be. I don't know how many more videos I'll be recording that will you guys will see prior to this set of videos. <clears throat> Again, huge shout outs to Kevin the narrator. Incredible job. So much incredibility and hilarity in this game. And the people that brought who worked on the original and that worked on for nine plus years, more or less years this game, and again, huge shout out to Slim Kirby because I went and got the game. <clears throat> Otherwise, and it was so worth it. Yeah, again, I should not prove any of myself wrong in the future. This should be the very last set of videos for the Let's Play. <laughs> the Discord mods. <laughs> Interesting crows. The developer crows have their own Discord server. And you. I'm just going to assume that's projected at both Stanley and the player. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, that said. That is it for this video. Hope you guys all enjoyed these videos and enjoyed this Let's Play. It was so worth doing. Uh, the one thing I did not do was the baby end game ending, but I have endings for that and stuff in the exclusive to the original and the demo of the game. I'll have I already have those videos in my playlist. So any content that I haven't covered, you guys can see in other videos. But I from other people that have uploaded stuff to YouTube that I've included in my playlist. So. As well, I, of course, at the end card of all my videos, I have Slim Kirby's Let's Play, which starts with the Stanley Parable demo video he did anyway. <clears throat> Gonna repeat some of the stuff I said previously. That's it for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed these videos and this Let's Play, and I'll see you guys for future stuff, future Let's Plays in the future that I'll do, as well as stuff I already have on YouTube. And again, I will say one last, <laughs> I will say one last thing to end this video, final video with this Let's Play off. Well, anyway, I'm gonna repeat again. Apologies for like ending the last play off like three times. But anyway, <clears throat> this has been Let's Play the Stanley Parable Ultra Three Double so I hope you guys all enjoyed this Let's Play, which is I am playing through it. And <clears throat> instead of reiterating my oh YouTube videos or whatever, I will just say this. And one more time, hope you guys all enjoyed. And bye, everybody.